If you would like to see how I added these lovely rhinestone embellishments to this Playtex Vent Air Baby Bottle, keep watching this video. It's going to be a video about a Playtex Vent Air Baby Bottle. I am going to be adding some rhinestone embellishments to the lid of this bottle. I already wiped it off with alcohol and I'm going to be using um, clear. I'm going to be using some five millimeter clear rhinestones. And again, I'm going to be just working on my honeycomb method. If you're not familiar, the honeycomb method is when you use one size and you kind of go in like a brick layer form so that you don't have any spaces in between. I usually do a scatter method where I have to have multiple size rhinestones, so I'm going to do something a little different. I'm no longer using E6000 glue. It's very toxic, it works, but it's very toxic and I don't care to use it anymore. Especially while doing something like this. Uh, these are the clear rhinestones. The glue I'm now going to be using is called Liquid Fusion. Now, it's uh, non-toxic, there's no odor, but it is three times more the cost than E6000. So, um, if that's an issue, then maybe you won't want to use it. You'll prefer E6000. So, this was about 9 or $10 on Amazon. Maybe you can get it for about 8 bucks. but this is a 4-ounce bottle. 2-ounce bottle is cheaper. So, that's an option, too, and it doesn't take a lot of this glue. I have this little precision tip bottle. I got this off Amazon. You can get a pack of 10 for about 5 to 7 bucks. so this is amazing. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. I do have my little pickup tool that I purchased from Amazon, a little wax stick. I really like this. So I'm just going to start by adding a little bit of glue on the edge here. I don't wanna come down too far because of course you want to make sure that the bottle can open and close. You don't want to accidentally glue it shut. So you want to put the glue up just a little bit higher. Okay, so I placed my first stone here. And you just want to go in a nice line as close as possible, as evenly as possible. This glue does have a thinner consistency than E6000, so it, and it doesn't dry immediately. It may take a little bit longer, so I will let this cure for a few days. But you do have some wiggle room when you're moving your stones around. So if you didn't put it exactly where you want to put it, you do have a little bit of time before it's locked in. But this is very, very good glue. So you just continue to pick up each stone and place it in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and go all the way around. I'll come back and show you guys how I'm going to do my second layer because that's when I'm gonna kind of go in between the first rhinestones on the first layer. Okay, so I did my first row and I did have a little space. Now, if you if you have space and you can't fit one in between, I did cheat here. I did put two little three millimeters right there just because. But you could just space them out. Go back and just space them and just make it look, you know, good. But I'm going to go ahead and start here with the honeycomb method. So I'm just going to place my stone right in between these two. So it kind of looks like a um, triangle. Just like that. It's like slant it, slant it. And you just kind of try your best to keep going in that same form. So that way you don't have any space in between it and you're, all, you're using the whole, the whole way through the same size. So 
So you just keep doing that. This, this glue um, spreads pretty far. It doesn't really take a whole lot, which is a really good thing. Then you just go ahead and you go in between that same spot again. And then you just keep going. top here as you can see so I'm just going to continue to add the rhinestones in between doing the honeycomb method I'm like right here at the top so you just keep going and then you'll be adding your rhinestones to the very flat top okay so I added my glue I'm on the top of the bottle area and then I'll just continue to go around in a circle and add the rhinestones nice as tightly as I can. Until you reach the center. Okay, so now I just have a little bit to go. I am closing up the center. So what you'll do here is just keep going around in a circle until you close it up all the way. Okay, the center is closed. What you see me doing is adding a little bit. There was a little side space there. So I'm just trying to close in that gap, but it's pretty much finished. Okay, here is the final result. I think the rhinestone placement is very seamless. I'm very happy about the way it came out. It looks gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And this will make a lovely gift. Nice little keepsake, even if they don't decide to use the bottle. It's a lovely keepsake. It's a great baby shower gift. It's a, it's a great gift to put together a baby basket. Something like that. In this next clip, I want to show you, this isn't a separate video, but I added some embellishments to some other essentials. These are just super cute, just to give you guys some ideas. I hope you received some inspiration here. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.